It was quite interesting when I first got to Switzerland. Even though I haven't been actively engaged in the community, I've been doing like producing documentaries and web series, movies about the theme and helping Jeb to organize a lot of his, his events. But then at the same time, like I didn't really want to connect with the community before because I was, I was pushing it hard when I was there. A lot of my friends died and I got injured. A lot of them got injured. And as a base jumper, you, you kind of learn to deal with it, but you know, it still sucks. So that's kind of like, I took a many years off from base jumping. And then of course I was, I was fortunate that I had all the friends that I, I, I maintained in touch with, but those were the people who I jumped with and who I knew. But I didn't make any extra effort of trying to learn to know any new base jumpers. Maybe out of protection for myself, I just didn't want to go, go through, the, through the experience of loss or, or again, or the grief. Over the last couple of years, we've been organizing events where we get a, like, you know, the elite group of jumpers. So I got to know, like, you know, the top of the top, who were the best. And, and, and they, you know, the great char characters and amazing people to be around. But then there's also like, you know, the 99% of the people who are like, you know, doing it out of the passion, who haven't figured out a way how to make it a job yet, who still have such an amazing thirst for life and adventures. And, uh, and that was the thing that I forgot. It was nice first thing when I went down to the Horner and it almost felt like it was my first day in the school. I guess it was normal, but it was kind of an interesting that I was actually nervous to going back to my peeps and my colleagues after so, so many years of absence. But as I showed up, I said, you know, Dukes comes over and Tony's there. And, and then from there on, you know, you know, you make a lot of new friends as well. And, and I was a little, little bit nervous of how the community takes what we do. But then it was nice. Then it was just basically like nothing's gone. Like it was just like 10 years ago again. The best way to, to reconnect with the community was to be here on a Swiss day. But everyone knew that there was a big fireworks display. So everyone's going to be in town anyhow. Jenny and, um, and Dukes had organized this barbecue under the waterfall at the Lauterbrunnen Valley. And it was nice to connect. There were so many, so many new faces, but at the same time, there were these guys that I used to jump with, like Dukes and Farrell, who I last saw like 13 years ago, who's had an interesting life, and people could even write books about it. But it was nice, those kind of a nostalgic moments. If you like ask any base jumper, I'm, I'm sure you'll find it the number one motivation why they jump. It's not about the flying or falling, it's more about the people who you share it with. Like the average people, I reckon there's like about 80% of people are fucking just idiots. 20% of people are okay. And in base jumping, it's the opposite. There's only 20% of fucking idiots that get into it. And the rest of them are really nice, genuine people. They're, everyone's happy to fucking help out. They, they don't meet, they haven't met you, and they'll let you stay in their fucking house. But they're not even there. This sport is uh, different from all the other sports uh, where you you don't get that bonding in between people, you know, like you are standing in an exit point and everyone is taking care of each other, like, uh, look, uh, this is good, uh, don't jump or jump that way, you know, like, even if you don't know them, you you give your, your point of view to them and try to, to help. And when you land, you are like, wow. You are celebrating with people that you just met in, on the hike or something, like if they would be your best friend. I think it draws, it draws good personalities. It draws people that are, I think if you, if you spend a hike, if you hike a lot with people and you, if something goes wrong, those are the people that have to come to your aid. They have to rescue you. They're, you're all responsible for each other. So there's a, there's a very tight bond. If you're, if you're a fucking mountaineer and you're climbing some big face and the shit hits the fan, it's your climbing partners that have got to help you. I'm sure there's a couple of like, you know, loners out there or kind of other people who are doing their own thing. But generally, like, you know, a lot of the base jumpers are social creatures. And there's nothing better than going down to the corner and then uh, hanging out. It's been nice. It's been really refreshing.